Hello, this is Edward Lambert. This video is part three of three videos presenting the meridian order for the mental body. This video covers the third four steps in the order which develop the understanding, beliefs, and attainment of the thought process through the steps. Steps nine and ten are titled Systems Blend into Harmony. The colors in each step correspond to meridians. We are at step nine the pericardium meridian. Visualize a yellow-green color. Upon seeing the laws of interaction, that was step eight, one senses the health of the system. Every good facet of the system should be sustainable. One sees cycles and rhythms of the vision arriving at a balance to support life. One senses the love that connects all forms of life. One reviews their own life and reflects upon thoughts, actions, and desires to see how they impact others in the environment. Our thoughts overcome fear to know how to love and care for life. So this is the beginning steps of understanding. We begin to see how individual aspects of the whole system, of the whole interaction in the world, lead to harmony. Not everybody can see this, but we're given a chance here with the pericardium meridian to really tune into the world and understand its harmony. Some people just want to take from the world. They see it, they grab it, and they move, and they don't have the wisdom, they don't have the knowledge, they don't have that sense of harmony to know that the world is being disrupted. They don't know how to care for the world. But in this step of the pericardium, when you really become to understand the nature of the world, you love it. Like, see this woman over here giving a, a big lion a hug. That's, that's the power of the pericardium meridian, to nurture, to understand, to show love, to appreciate one's place in the whole interaction of life. Now here we go on to step 10, kidney meridian. Visualize a violet color. A healthy system is vibrant and abundant with life. All elements flow in cycles of harmony. One has integrated vision of a whole beyond the individual parts. This is a higher mind perception. One is seeing the whole system. One sees their life as a whole system composed of interactions between self and others and within the environment. A complete multifaceted vision unifies within our subconscious. One really has gone beyond that one image in step three that came into focus within the, the abstract forms of the mind light substance. And then a world was created around that. And that one is going to the point now beyond that one image to see a complete unified image of the whole system. A complete multifaceted vision unifies within our consciousness. This is another high state of meditation. To reach this point in meditation where one feels the unity of all life elements, of all the elements in the world, it is a beautiful vision. It is a beautiful meditation. It's a wonderful thought process to not only see the cycles and the rhythms of life, but to really see their unified harmony now we go on to steps 11 and 12. These steps are called the complete thought is planted. In step 11 with the Sanjiao Meridian, we visualize a purple color. The whole vision coalesces into the form of a seed to be planted. Now just imagine there in, the, in step 10 with the kidney Meridian where you have this unified universal vision. But now take that vision and coalesce it down into a small seed form. You're integrating all thought and understanding of the step into a seed form. And this happens with every thought we have, every emotion, every desire, every thought is creating a little seed form. And these seed forms will last from lifetime to lifetime. They sit in our subconscious and they wait to be manifested. They seek, they some, many of them control our actions. They control how we think, how we, how we eat, how we talk, how we respond to other people. And these, all these thought processes 
become seed forms that sit within our subconscious. And these thought seeds are created in the hypothalamus to be carried to the third eye. Advanced meditations reach this state consciously. The goal is to sow spiritual thoughts to reap a higher destiny. Now just like here to the right we see the whole world in the hand of a person. This is the idea where you've taken your whole unified vision in step 10, the kidney meridian, and you've condensed it down to a concentrated form. Now in step 12, which is the ultimate step in the mental body, we have the small intestine meridian. You visualize a blue-green color. The complete thought seed, which was formed there in step 11, is carried to and planted in the third eye where the first meridian of this whole mental body order, the bladder meridian, awakes. Mystics say that the, the thought seed, which is created in step 11, sits in the third eye and leaves the body from there to manifest itself in your life. Thought seeds seek fulfillment and direct words, desires, and actions. They can direct your the words, desires, and actions. They can also subconsciously direct the words, desires, and actions of other people. They have power. They resonate. They affect one mental body and another mental body and seek to fulfill themselves. So it is important to be consciously aware of the thought seeds that we have and that other people have. To really know what our actions are doing and why we're acting certain ways and why we're saying certain things. The extent to which better understanding guides the creation of thought seeds through the mental body allows for a higher destiny. Just like over here, that this picture, sow a thought and you reap an action, sow an act and you reap a habit, sow a habit and you reap a character, sow a character and you reap a destiny. Ralph Waldo Emerson. This quote of his really talks about going through this order of the mental body with a lot of thought in order to produce our best actions, our best thoughts, our best words, our best desires. And planting a highly spiritual vision is the true goal of meditation. So we can see from step one all the way to step 12, this complete process and development of the mental body from a state of pure nothingness where movement begins. Light comes in and fills, and then the images are created, and then forms and interactions and logic, and then understanding and harmony and unifying this interaction, and then condensing this interaction down into what we understand and what we can believe. And that creates a thought seed form which determines our behavior and also affects behavior of others. These are profound aspects of the mental body. But I hope this presentation gave a sense of how you can go through these 12 steps and understand and develop your own mental process.